Tabernacle and the Ark of the Covenant. The original tabernacle was built in the Hebrew camp at the base of Mount Sinai, as described in the book of Exodus. It was constructed by Israelites according to God's specifications while wandering the desert to provide a temporary, portable, possible means for God's people to dwell with him, for God's request, which was used until King Solomon built a temple. It was the earthly center of their camp and venue for their worship. It was also a tangible and visible symbol of God's presence and promise to Israel that he would live among them. Following the conquest of Canaan, the promised land, the ark resided at Shiloh, but from time to time it was carried into battle by the Israelites. This is a model of the city of Jerusalem when David conquered it. David was the second ruler of the United Kingdom of Israel. He founded the Judean dynasty and united all the tribes of Israel under a single monarch. David occupied the area because his warrior, Joab, used a water conduit in a surprise assault to capture the former Jebusite city. Jerusalem was a good place for David's government because it had a water source from natural springs. The valleys created a natural fortress. It was centrally located, and the area had a tradition of being a holy place. During David's time, the Ark of the Covenant was laid to rest in the city of Jerusalem. This is the model of Solomon's temple. Solomon was the third king of Israel, ruling from 9, 970 to 931 BCE. He supposedly built the first temple in Jerusalem around 950 BCE. To advance himself politically, Solomon kept many wives, all of whom were not of the covenant. He was known for his wisdom, according to stories told in Bible, and was very wealthy. After his father, David, his was the second and last king of a unified Israel, which was at the height of his power during the reign. He had mo the most prosperous and peaceful rule in the history of ancient Israel. Some major things that happened during Solomon's rule include the ancient kingdom of Israel gain gaining its highest splendor and wealth during its 40 year reign. He built the first temple of God in Jerusalem. He extended Israel's influence through commercial treaties. He controlled trade routes coming out of Edom, Arabia, India, Africa, and Judea. During Solomon's rule, the Ark of the Covenant rested in the Holy of Holies. Inside the tabernacle of the ancient temple of Jerusalem, which he had built. After Solomon's rule, revolts broke out over who should be king. Upon the succession of Solomon's son, Jeroboam, the kingdom of Israel split into two separate kingdoms. The kingdom of Israel in the north, containing the cities of Shisham and Samaria, and the kingdom of Judah in the south, containing Jerusalem and the Jewish temple. Solomon's descendants continued to rule the southern kingdom of Judah. The northern kingdom of Israel was attacked by the Assyrians in 722 BCE with many Israelites fleeing south to Judah. In 722 BCE, the northern half of Hebrew lands, known as Israel, was invaded and mostly destroyed by the Assyrians. The southern half, known as Judea, survived until around 597 BCE, when the Babylonians defeated the Judeans and carried most of them back as captives to Babylon. The Ark of the Covenant went to Babylon in 587 BCE, when Jerusalem fell to King Nebuchadnezzar and the first temple was destroyed. The Bible does not state what happened to the ark after the Jews returned from exile in Babylon. It appears that they were no longer aware of its location, or else they would have placed it in the second temple that was built in Jerusalem. The troops commanded by King Nebuchadnezzar II of Babylonia destroyed Solomon's temple in 586 BCE when he conquered Jerusalem. The second temple in Jerusalem was built by the Jews returning from exile in Babylon. It began around 20 BC during King Herod's rule. God's chosen people were in Jerusalem at this time in order to rebuild the temple on the site of the original one that was destroyed. They had problems, though, because they didn't have divine guidance this time, which they felt was needed. The walls of Jerusalem needed to be rebuilt because the Babylonians conquered and destroyed the city. 
Nehemiah was responsible for them being rebuilt. The rebuildings of the walls was considered a miracle. The Maccabees were a Jewish family that were priests and were respected among the Jews. The family consisted of Mattathias and his five sons, John, Simon called Thassi, Judas called Maccabees, Eleazar called Averon, and Jonathan called Athos. They lived in Judah during the time when King Antiochus IV ruled Syria and was conquering the surrounding empires, including Israel and Judah, so as to unite the whole area under one religion and culture known as Hellenism. When he came against Israel and Judah, he occupied Jerusalem, defaced the temple, and began to force the Israelites to give up their customs and adopt the practices of Hellenism. While many of the Israelites gave up their faith and worshipped the Greek gods, Mattathias and his sons refused and fled into the wilderness. There, together with other Israelites who had also fled, they revolted against the Gentiles and eventually drove them out of Israel. Israel was free for a time, but was conquered by Rome in 63 BCE. Herod was the Roman-appointed ruler for Judah from 37 to 4 BCE. One of the things that he was known for was building many fortresses, aqueducts, theaters, and structures in general. His greatest creation was the restoration of the temple, which he completely destroyed and then completely rebuilt. His goal was to create one of the most magnificent buildings of all time. 